It took me over one year to realize it, that tools do make a huge difference. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind, create yourself and that's what it's all about. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, then you can do it as well. It is Tuesday, I just returned from a minor shopping trip. More storage boxes, more clamps. Clamps are important. Black paint for the wall, finally. And I also bought this uh, thing right there. And I'm going to use this for getting my prints of the build platform. The other thing is so big that some prints simply get destroyed and the plan is to sharpen this edge right there so that I have a wide, thin blade. Should be perfect. Nice handle right there. And these threaded rods right there, I'm probably going to use them for the kunais. And the main priority for today is to ship more Etsy packages Dang it. At least five of them. Let's do this, I will see you in a bit. There we go, packages are shipped. That's sharp right there. I just decided that the topic for this vlog will be tools you need for 3D printing. So let's get right to it. That's the thing right there, you see, it is sharp. <laughs> First I thought this right there would replace my other tools, but that's not the case. This right there, that's just a thin knife. This was my first tool. I used it way back in the day when I got my 3D printer, cut myself quite often. And it's actually pretty hard to get the prints of the print bed with a knife like that. It goes underneath pretty well, but it's just, it's hard to move forward because there is such a huge lever. This is a really thick wood scraping tool right there. This thing is razor sharp. It gets underneath the print really good, but it is that thick that some prints might actually break. Well, this one probably would survive, but I recently even split a Triforce spinner somewhere there. If you go underneath the print full force with a thick tool, then it will just, the print will behave something like this. And if it's a thin print, it will just snap. And that's where this tool comes in place, because just like with this one, you can push down the print bed, and that's really helpful. And that just speeds up the process tremendously. <laughs> English points on skill. Just like so, even with your body weight, that's simply a pain in the ass with this knife right there. And now I have this tool, super thin. It's even thinner than this knife and I can also apply way more force to it. I thought that this tool would replace these tools, but that's not the case. Today I already removed three prints from my print bed and what I found out what works the best is that's the first tool right there you're going to get it off from the edges only. First tool, just loosening up the edges. This is such a sturdy tool, it just works perfectly. You can even just poke it a bit. Let's try that with the knife. You see, it is, it is just a big angle right there and it's a pain. You could also do it with this thing, but the thing is, it's not as sharp as this tool, so it works way better with this one, you see. You also can angle it a bit and just poke it loose a bit. Now we have loose edges right there, as you can see, and right there it's still connected to the print bed. Now we use the big tool and just go underneath and wiggle it off. It's really easy actually, doesn't take much force. It's pretty much convenient with this knife. It's it's a pain in the ass. It's unbelievable. But now it got convenient. That's what it looks like from behind. It works freaking good. And of course, I also still need the knife to get the prints of the raft. I always go one half and then I will just turn it around and go for the other. Check it out and also of course for cleaning off the edges. So there you have it, these are my three favorite tools. It took me over one year to realize it, that tools do make a huge difference. So I would invite you to get them. It will most certainly improve your workflow big times. I'm about to hit the sack for another hour and after that another live stream and I will see you tomorrow.
Strike em. 